Life Smart, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions. So, I told you guys in the very first part of The Sims 3 Ambitions that I was going to add in more Sims or a whole new family later down the road to explore the other careers and professions. So, I decided to actually put in Cassandra Goth and Bliss Goth, which Cassandra is going to be following the Doctor career and then bliss is also going to be exploring for right now the cupcake muffin sort of selling technique that children can do and then later down the road either fashion or interior design so let me just go ahead and explain it because i know some of you guys are probably like well where's the other family huh where they at though hmm well, Cassandra Goth is Alexander's big sister, and I have this whole backstory planned, which I will tell you guys in a second. I just wanted to let you guys know it's probably going to be every part or every other part we will switch between the families. This will definitely make this LP a lot more interesting. I will be able to follow different careers, and it'll just be nice to have kind of a change of scenery, which the other family actually does get a new house. Um... You guys will see that in the next part or so. <gasps> that was a mouthful. Let me go ahead and tell you guys about Cassandra and Bliss Goth. So Cassandra, of course, always was in with Don Lothario. And as we all know, Don Lothario is pretty much the biggest player ever in Simology. So you know how that is. If you don't know the backstory between uh, Cassandra and Don, I would highly recommend going to the Sim Wiki and reading up on it. It's pretty much notorious and I'm sure most of you guys know how it goes. But Cassandra had Dawn's baby, which is Bliss Goth, and she decided that, you know, because Dawn is so all over the place with his woman that she was going to move away completely to a whole different town after her parents passed away, Bella and Mortimer Goth. And she knew that Alexander was living here and they kind of cut off all communication because Cassandra was so wrapped up with Don that Alexander just didn't like him, especially with everything that happened. So he pretty much cut off all communications and he doesn't know he has a niece and he hasn't talked to his sister in years. So we're going to go surprise him today. Like I was saying about Bliss and Cassandra, they decided to move away to a different town and Cassandra wanted to go somewhere that she has family so she decided to go to the town in which Mr. Alexander was living in so it's definitely going to be a surprise to him to go ahead and meet Bliss and get closer with his sister so that's pretty much the backstory here there is a little you know me being the little creep I am I added in <laughs> two cats uh, which is Bella and Mortimer Goth. This is Bella right here. I decided to do a black eye and a pure white eye. And the reason for it is I feel like Bella Goth had two sides to her. She kind of had the, you know, hi, I'm Bella Goth. This is my family. I promise my kids aren't crazy. I promise we're perfect. Believe me. Sort of eye. And then the other eye is like, yo, what's good, guys? I just want to get with Don Lothario. Go see some aliens. Blah, blah, blah. So I gave her a black eye to kind of represent uh, whatever Bella Goth may have been thinking. And then Mortimer just reminds me of a tuxedo cat because he's all formal. <laughs> and hopefully I will have them have kittens and we can have the whole freaking family. Now, because we are pretty darn broke, this house isn't exactly the, you know, the prettiest thing. But I will show you guys where it is on the map compared to the other family. Here we are out in the boonies, literally. <laughs> and the other family is right, right, where are they? Where's the, oh, they're right there. So it's, woo. We're pretty close for the most part, if I do say so myself. But, uh, you know, we're still out in the boonies. We're starting from scratch which is fun to me. I think this is my favorite period of the gameplay is when you're just kind of starting off and there's so much you got to do. So it is their first day here. There's no school, no work because we don't have a job yet. But um, oh, let me go over their traits really quickly. Cassandra is a loner, socially awkward, unstable, unstable, <laughs> like myself, a perfectionist and a cat person. She likes the color black, stew surprise, and spooky music. Bliss Goth is a party animal. I would definitely say she inherited that from her father. Neat and a little bit of a mood, which will definitely come in handy with her muffin business. Her favorite color is lilac. She likes stew surprise, and she likes pop music. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got so far with the family. Um, actually, let me go over the cats really quickly. Uh, Bella is adventurous, proud, and friendly. Mortimer is skittish, neat, and proud. So yeah, I'm excited to have like families going again, literally. So we're going to have Cassandra change into her everyday wear. Uh, Bliss is going to as well. 
Did they both eat this morning? They should have. Let me see. Yes and yes. Uh, also, in this house, if we go downstairs, there's this big, creepy basement that has absolutely nothing in it. I think down here I'm going to throw, like, hey, guys, come down to my basement for my welcoming party. My housewarming party. I'm going to make it a thing in my basement. Okay. Then we're going to lock the door and people are not allowed out. No, but um, what the hell? What, what is this? Okay. Anyways, oh, victory over washer. Ha! I have defeated the cruel washer. Okay, then. Whatever makes you happy, <laughs> I guess. So I'm going to have Bliss come over here and bake a plate of blueberry muffins. And Cassandra is going to head off to the hospital. Yep. Plastic surgery, well. <laughs> one day, one day. Uh, oh, let me show you guys her face. But here it is. I think she's gorgeous and she is an adult, so she has some of that, you know. Some of those wrinkles, you know how it goes. It's not a big deal. Beauty, beauty is on the inside, guys. But uh, it kind of looks like somebody punched her eyeglass frame out. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's going to go do that really quickly. And Bliss is going to start her little cupcake. I keep saying cupcake, but it's definitely not a cupcake. It is a muffin thingy. And when Cassandra gets back, I will also sell her camera. Certain items in your inventory will go bad over time. Eat or store them soon. All right, we're going to bake a plate of vanilla muffins as well to go sell them in the park. It is raining out, which would kind of suck, but uh, hey, Sims got to make simoleons one way or another. Bella, you need to calm down. Girl, get your hands off the wall. Thank you. But yeah, we are just going to do that and accept really quickly. I'm going to have Cassandra also head over to the other family, which is not, um, okay, listen, the house is not completely furnished yet, but we're still going to go over there. Um, I think I'm going to live stream it. I'm like so lost. <laughs> I think I'm going to live stream uh, me decorating this house tonight. My beautiful friend, Cassandra, made this for me. Well, this is creepy. My friend Cassandra made this house for me. Oh, Isabel is out at the moment. Are you freaking kidding me? They're probably at the park. Really? Who's over there? Is her last name Frog? Oh, Fong. I was like, girl, we finna fight. <laughs> um, yeah, I do not see um, our friends here, aka my life. <laughs> Where are they at, though? All right, well, we are gonna come over here and shop for some fight. Oh, oh! Hey, you, stop it right now. Alexander is going home. All right, buddy, but well, we will meet you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not creepy at all. I promise, Alexander. All right, well, we're going to go get some groceries really quickly, and then we are going to head over to his house. But yeah, I want to get some fireworks for the house welcoming party, but I do need to do a little bit of a computer tune-up, so I apologize if the game isn't as fast as it usually is. I do need to clean out some custom content and things like that. We will do the firecracker variety bundle and some sparklers. I just spent 500 smolians on fireworks. All right, so we're gonna come here and visit our brother. We're gonna sneak up on him and he's gonna be like, WTF, why is you here? And we're just gonna be like, yes. Let me just stop using abbreviations while I speak. Am I gonna start saying LOL? I feel like I am. Oh, Portia's gonna answer the door seriously. Hey, Portia, how you doing, girl? We aren't here for you. Uh, Pretty much everything in this house is gonna change. I. There's so much that has to change. Don't even, don't even bother looking at it. All right, where is he? Oh, oh there he is. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hug me, brother. All right, cool. So we are going to um, confuse about our new house and just hang out with our brother for a little bit. Uh, we're gonna talk about our new job. We are going to ask him about his career since we haven't spoke to him in so long. Compliment his home because it is so much bigger than the last one. It's so much prettier than the last one. And then we are going to... Talk about the rain. She's gonna... Oh my god. You two better stop it. She's gonna go introduce herself to Portia because, you know, I feel like when little kids see fantabulous girls like this, at least I know I used to do this when I was a little kid. I'd, like, stare at the pretty girl in the room and be like, I want to be friends with her. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. Probably just was me. I feel like right now, I'm in the mood to, like, be on Broadway or something. I apologize if I'm jumping on walls. I'm just so happy to be filming. It feels so good. <laughs> it's about cats again. Bring up cats every second that we can. 
She wants to mooch a few simoleons off Portia. <laughs> Listen, she's not making that much money herself, so I don't know about that. Alright, we're gonna try to mooch a small amount of simoleons off of her. See if it works. Apparently she's having a really boring conversation with her. Oh yeah, she got nine simoleons from Portia. We are going to compliment her home. Go sleep in her bed. We'll tell her a story. These two still hitting it off. Yeah. I love that they both have their glasses on. So cute. Alright, they are friends now. Let me just go ahead and uh, ask if my brother's single. No, we won't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to take that route. We're going to admire him. Oh, Alexander thinks Cassandra is being boring. Listen, buddy. Listen. Don't start with me, because I'll put it to an end real quick. Uh, we'll shock a bra with him. All right. And we will recruit. What is this? Um, do not do something that will make me pissed off. Do not. Don't recruit him. Recruit him to what? What did I just do? What did I just do? Did I just change his profession or something? Did I just have him quit his other profession? Because if so, I'm locking Cassandra in a room for a night. Even though I clicked that, I'm locking her in a room for the night. But <sighs> discuss work. You bu Oh my god. No. What did I just do? What did I just do? Okay, so no need to worry, guys. I will fix this off camera. Let's pretend that never happened. I am furious right now. I am furious. I will just go over my steps and make everything I did in this part happen again. Uh, but we're going to try to mooch a large amount off Portia. They're friends now, so, you know, friends, friends will give us tons of simoleons, right? Yeah, she gave us 39 simoleons. That's enough to buy, like, three pieces of lettuce in this game. I think we're winning. But we are going to actually invite him out on a... Not a date. <laughs> we're not going to do that. But we're going to see if we can go out to dinner at the bistro together. I think that'd be kind of nice. Go eat here with Alexander and Bliskoth. All right, Portia, we will hit you up soon, girl. Much love. Our new BFF. Our new bestie. Oh, that is not your outerwear. What is that? I gave you adorable outerwear. And then you literally embarrass me with this. Really? Really? But here's her eyeliner. <laughs> it is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. And does she not look like Alexander? Does she not look like Alexander? No, but I love the eyeliner. It makes me so happy. <laughs> but yeah, Bliss is... Stop embarrassing me. Stop it. I gave them adorable outerwears. And then they hit me with this. Really, guys? Really? Or is that their formal attire? Either way, formal and outerwear. I mean, very cute. So this is just this not is okay. This disgusted by the... Ugh, the food went bad. No! The blueberry muffins are still okay. But the blueberry muffin... Oh, okay. There's a batch of blueberry muffins that are still good. And then there's a spoiled blueberry muffin. We need to hurry up and get that batch in the fridge. We are going to head home really quickly. Hopefully, Alexander will follow... No, it's fine. You know what, Alexander? We will hit him up for the but, uh, party. Let's really oh, she's already home. Whoops. Uh, let me go ahead and open this really quickly. Throw in our blueberry muffins. Clean those up. And she already wants to go to bed. Oh. Can she do the parent-friendly one? Fireworks are too dangerous for kids. Then don't say parent-approved if the children can't do it. Then don't say it's children approved. They can use the sparklers, though. Okay, so she's just going to do that. And I guess she'll head outside all alone at 11 p.m. Do some sparklers. Uh-uh, hold on. First change out of that. First change out of that. <laughs> Throw up. Girl, you better calm down. You is 10 years old. You don't need to be throwing parties. New memories. And family. And who knows, maybe Don Lothario will show up and be like, I want my kid! Probably not. <laughs> so, it is currently 5 a.m. and it is the first day of work for Cassandra and also the first day of school for Bliss Goth. So, I'm going to have Cassandra go ahead and use the restroom and take a shower prior to Bliss waking up for school. And what went bad? Did my muffins go bad? 
Oh my. Oh my. Really? Really? Oh, I guess. I guess. We're going to put out some food. We're going to put out these waffles right here. And she's feeling a little out of the sorts this morning. She is unstable, which if you guys remember from um, Into the Future, when your sims get a little unstable, they need to take some deep breaths. And if they continue to feel that way, they kind of end up in the hospital and they can die from it. So, you know, good stuff, fun stuff. But the carpool for Cassandra will show in one hour. Can you stop with this outfit? My practically the ugliest thing I've ever seen. All right, so Bliss is going to wake up really quickly. She's going to go take her quick shower um, and then go grab a plate of waffles. We'll just move those over there. We'll do a house cleaning later tonight. There's really not much to clean up here. We just kind of need to do the laundry, do some dishes. But uh, they, they have work in school, so. That's and fine. I would like her to, I have to sneeze. I would like her to make some friends today. And also, Cassandra... Watch TV in the ready room. You better don't. Me, personal, personal, personnel. I don't know. Uh, we're going to chat with our coworkers. We do need to meet some some of them. <laughs> we're gonna meet some people today. There's a sim fest going on, and she needs to. Okay, you need to stop eating. I'm sorry. But you're gonna be late for school. Oh my gosh, where does the school bus come? Wow, we really need to move. Learn stuff. Work on your painting, writing, and arithmetic. Talk to friends, meet friends, slack off, work hard. Uh, we're going to meet some new friends, considering we have none. It'd be kind of nice to at least have one friend. But uh, let's see. What does Bella want to do? Survey the cat condo. Scratch on the cat condo. Mortimer wants absolutely nothing. They okay, are buddy. mates, which means, you know, the buddies, that the kind of lovers, and all that good stuff. A little give and take. Your boss thinks you could use a little instruction on starting your career on the right foot. It's been recommended that you read The Gift of Life, a step-by-step -step instruction on how to give your... Give... On how best to give your organs for the good of others. As soon as you do this, you'll be one step closer to your next promotion and just a little bit closer to your boss. We will do that. Currently, we are a organ donor, which, you know, as you move through the career, you get to go places and like give people shots and stuff. It's not like a profession like the other ones, but it, it is something and I think it's cool. So yeah, well, I'm actually gonna have her work hard now. Here they are nuzzling each other, being so cute. Oh my gosh, why are you guys so cute? They can play, goof around, and pounce, and chase each other. They can also hiss at each other. <laughs> Mortimer, what's the matter? Ew, hairball. The in-between feeling of coughing out the hairball and, st and it being stuck in your throat is certainly uncomfortable. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. This is class. We'll be taking a field trip tomorrow to the community theater. Yes, I will sign that permission slip. And I also do want to sign her up for some classes. So before we go home, I'm going to have her stop by the school really quickly, which is right here. And we are going to sign her up for, ooh, this is hard. Study club. Seems like a goth thing. Scouting, ballet, and art club. Hmm, what would you sign up a goth for? I would definitely say the study club, but... <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be that parent. I think I'm going to sign her up for scouting. I always sign my chicks up for ballet, and it's, you know, it's nice, but I think scouting would be kind of fun. Mortimer Goth just freaked out at Bliss for absolutely no reason. Sheesh, Mortimer's such a weirdo. <laughs> okay, then, Mortimer. Chillax. Oh, and she's actually in a really pissy mood. So maybe it's not the best to invite them over today. But uh, we're actually going to switch this. I think switching this to delicate will make her not freak out as much. So we're just going to grab all this laundry. She's doing her homework, I guess. Which, actually, to make homework go by a little bit faster so we have more time for selling muffins, we're going to buy the multi-tab. We do have some extra smellions. You can go ahead and put that away and grab the multi-tab to do your homework. Uh, Cassandra's just going to do some dishes really quickly. And I think I'm going to have her head to the spa, actually. Yeah. She has work tomorrow. Yep, she does. So I think I'm going to have her head to the spa. Or she really needs to work on her logic skill, to be completely honest. So she's actually going to head to the park and work on that, even though she's in a horrendous mood. Bliss is going to um, make some muffins. 
I just feel like they're going to go bad. I put them in the fridge and they went bad. What? Can I speak? She kind of made me mad, but... I'm just going to clean this up really quickly. I guess I can try. It's already 7 p.m., so this is probably going to have to be a weekend thing. It just kind of makes me, makes me a little mad. So I think once she gets her skill up once, I'll have her come back home and read that medical book. But for now, I'm going to have her come in here and make herself dinners. Let me call her friend up. Hey, Portia. How you doing, girl? Girl, I'm doing good. How about you? What do you do today? Well, I went to elementary school. How about you? Oh, you know, I got my nails done. <laughs> like, that's how the conversation would go. Leisure day is in a couple of days, which is when I'm going to throw that little party. So uh, I think we're going to spend Wednesday with the other family. And then Thursday, we'll come back to this family and throw our little party. But yes, we're just going to eat our muffin. And then we're going to go over here and give Bella Goth some loving. We're going to command her to guard the house. No, we're going to praise her for being playful. We're going to praise her for being neat. We're going to praise her for being friendly. And we're going to scold her for nothing, actually. Where's Mortimer? You need scolding, buddy. He's under there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we're going to praise him for being adventurous. Okay, she's over there making snow cones and stuff. She's just going to come home. Clearly today is not her day. I made her work pretty pretty hard. So she's just going to come home and have herself a autumn salad for Make dinner. Make them feel like they did something good. Fill up their food bowl as well. And we'll play with Mortimer, since we just gave Bella so much praising. It's only fair to him that we give him some loves. All right, Sandra's home. Aww, Mortimer's so cute. I like how I'm acting like this is, this is her grandfather. <laughs> Like, what a creepy thing to do. This is totally something the goth family would do. Like, yep, that's my dad. That's him. That That is him. That's my grandfather, too. Yep. And they look like, like, I could see Bella Goth being this big, fluffy. I like how I come over here as she's doing the duty. But she's like this big, fluffy, puffy, white, pretty kitty cat. And then Mortimer is just a tuxedo cat. I could see it. <laughs> She's in such a bad mood. She's exhausted, but she's just going to eat dinner really quickly, head to bed, which, speaking of that, it is time for you to go to bed, and it's time for you to go to bed as well. I will see you all in the morning. All right, guys, so I just played through the work day and school day. It is now uh, 5 p.m., and I had Bliss come home really quickly and make some blueberry muffins, and also Cassandra is at the park reading that medical book. What we are going to do is go ahead and put our little thingy, majiggy, whatever this is, the muffin stand, the muffin man stand, and head to the park and sell these bad boys, because I am dying to sell some muffins. Ooh, and her field trip went really good. Uh, she saw a great show, and if you guys notice in the bedroom, I actually moved things around and put down her theater souvenir mirror and everything. So here we are, about to sell some baked goods. We have one thing of muffins, and we're going to set our price for all goods. Enter the price that you would like to charge for vanilla goods, chocolate goods, and other goods. I guess this would be other goods, so 17 smolians? Take baked goods. Hopefully somebody will come purchase. I mean, look how cute it is. It's such a cute little stand. Oh, look, there's a turtle over here just crawling on the ground. Hi, buddy. How you doing? That's so random. <laughs> oh, I thought there was... Don't mind my little gasp. I thought there was an earthquake, but it was just my camera moving around. And look, it's Portia. Portia, please come buy some of our baked goods. They're fresh. <laughs> oh, she's going to go jump on the trampoline for a little bit. And she read her medical book, so she's good to go for work tomorrow. Please, please come. Please, please come buy these. Please. Look, you just, you just see Cassandra all the way back there, just jumping up and down. But seriously, come buy my muffins, please. I'm about to have Cassandra just come over here and buy them, because this is sad. Like, we should have a line, right? Oh, that's totally normal. Okay, that's actually terrifying. Can, can I pet him? Try to pet him. Why is he... He's like, psych! Bah! <laughs> okay, well, come over here and tend your table really quickly. 
And was he gonna stop for you? <gasps> oh, he is. Stop. No, go pet him. Go pet the deer. Go. Go. Yes. Do it. Hurry. Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously, dude? <sighs> okay, go tend your table. Your mom's gonna come buy them. Because clearly, nobody wants your nasty cupcakes. One day. One day. Can we not even buy them? That is just messed up. That is so sad. Mm -mm. That is not right. Not right put at all. Put this away. We'll try again. We'll put out more baked goods. Because we literally got no sales. But we're going to go get our face painted. Make the most of this. We will do... Um, a pirate. Let me see your- oh, come on, let me see it. And here is her face painting. Oh, it looks so cute, actually. I like the pirate. I've never done the pirate, and I really like it. <laughs> I always get, like, whimsical or something. Interesting way. Don't you go enter the pie-eating contest with Portia Doran. Please let this little baby bliss win. That would be hilarious. The kid wins. Oh, come on, dude! Really, Ben? Really? <sighs> Alright. I guess. At least beat him. I don't even care about the other two of you. Just beat Ben. So you wanted to be a little D-bag about it, just beat him, and I'll be happy. Oops. Ooh, the sky looks pretty, though. Oh, yes! That sky pretty. That sky pretty. What? <laughs> Can I speak? No. <gasps> What the heck? Oh, come on, because it's 10 o'clock. We literally had to forfeit because it's time to go home. Why? Why? Well, Ben left too. Ben, don't try me. Don't try me. Okay, buddy? Don't do it, because I will end you really quickly. But okay, uh, Bliss, I guess, is heading home. And are these little seeds? Yeah, I thought they were eggs. I'm like, wrong season. <laughs> But, you know, one complaint that really makes me mad is I wish, as, you know, the seasons progress, that the leaves and stuff around town would just go away. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks that your sims would actually have to come here and rake these for them to go away. Makes me a little mad. I'm not going to lie. But uh, tomorrow is Leisure Day, which my sims will be throwing a housewarming party for the other family to kind of come over. I'll meet them all off camera and everything as we all know we're already friends with Portia and a brother slash uncle Alexander so they'll definitely be coming I would like for the rest of the household to come as well and uh, maybe some co-workers and friends from school come to our basement you know fun stuff but yeah guys it's kind of sad watching her go home and she has to like go into the foggy night <laughs> to get to her house but yeah I will see you all next time, and I hope you guys also like, you know, having Cassandra and Bliss added to all of this, and, you know, Mortimer and Bella. But, um, yeah, guys, I will see you all in the next part. Bye, guys.